<laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back for game number two. We need to turn this music down. That's a little loud. <laughs> All right, there we go. Game number two underway. I'm going to move that over here, too. All right, there we go. Oh, so this is my new, new little thing I have going on. You can see the missiles flying in the background over my head. Oh, I forgot the panda hat. <laughs> see? Yep. That is amazing, yep. panda. There we go. So this is going to be our casting desk. Uh, so when we go to the casting desk, we're going to have something that looks a little like this. <laughs> Drain Wang, how do you get your camera on there? Like just recording it? Uh, I feel like, what if we got like, is there a way to get like a Skype on there? Yes. Well, for another time. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we're going to toy around with this. This will be something for another time, but enjoy the missiles that are flying behind me. Um, they're not torpedoes. They're missiles because there's no torpedo in this game. Rip. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. We're going to get set for our... Or playoffs. <laughs> Please do the timer, <laughs> Panda. I don't like timers. What am I doing with timers? Why is Who's there a miss? Who's the timer? Oh, Jirachi is. Someone called me again. What the hell? I will do the timer. Who is this dude from Primeville? They keep calling me. I finished me. my dinner. It was quite tasty. I will do the timer. Yeah. All right. Anyways, we have bands already coming in. Blitzcrank, Jarvin, and Bard. Looks like bands have not really changed a whole lot from last game. Oh. I really wonder who that is calling me. Yep, same bands for Riches Provoked, and why would they change? They did very well in the last game. I will just do 45 second bands. How do I like? And then there is a Skarner band for the jungle. It's 30. We agreed to 30. Oh, my bad. If we agreed to 30, then why are we not using Pro Drops? Honestly, it doesn't even matter. We'll just I don't keep even it care. going. Doesn't matter to me. I'm not playing. Heart, go away. Oh, Jarvin, Skarner, and Kane again. Leaving the Warwick open. Do you think this is something they could maybe first pick? I, I, the Warwick was so strong last game. I, I would be surprised if he didn't first pick it. Um, Pro Draft is working. Yeah, we know, but they've decided to use this sheet Hashtag instead. Pro Draft is better. Hashtag pro draft is better. Especially but if you're going to use 30 second timers. Like, That's you know, what I'm saying. But um, what it is. If you're using minute timers, then then I'd understand. But 30 second timers, I don't know about that. Anyways, yeah, Warwick would be something I'd be heavily consider considering. And they have chosen Tristana instead. Interesting. I don't think the Tristana was really the issue for Pooh. I could... I could foresee a Zaya coming out now, just as the counter. Uh, interesting though that they. Oh wait, well no, you're you're switching it here. Rip is uh, on blue side. That's what I said. Tristana picked. So it's not a problem. It's right. a good thing. But I'm saying for Pooh, the problem wasn't the Tristana; it was the oh, Warwick. I see. Oh, I actually, I actually think this is a good pick for Rip though. Put Jirachi on the same champion they popped off on game of number one. You know. Yeah, that's true. Um, but I still think that Warwick was a very good pick. Mm -hmm. And Zaya is good into Trist right early. Um, but so far, it looks like picks have stayed the same. Bands have stayed the same. We're seeing Brahm again and a Kled. We might we see the exact same comp. I I don't know. They don't want the missile to get Trist. <laughs> huh. What am I even looking at? Boosted garbage? You're not we're wrong. Garbage, aren't we? <laughs> we're all pretty garbage. <laughs> As yep, here comes the Alistair for Rich is provoked. Again, same oh, uh, support pick. Sorry, sorry. To answer Opie one from earlier, I had some uh, Indian food. It was delicious. Ooh, what kind of Indian food? Um, is this like chicken naan, chicken Ooh. with naan, buffalo chicken? Like it's yeah, it's good. That sounds delicious. I had chicken it's strips for dinner. With some Ooh, corn. That sounds delicious as well. And carrots and cucumbers. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so are we just I think we're gonna see the same comps. Yeah. I think they're gonna maybe try Vagar here, thinking it might be something different that I think it's oh Shivana. 
Oh, I think we see a... Now, now you know what Rip should do. You ban uh, Zerath and you ban Vega. Oh, he does play Ziggs, so never mind. He's got something. To back uh, I'd ban that. This is the classic G5 war, just running back the same comps. I mean, so far it looks like that. Rip just provoked very well could just run it back and run the same comp they yeah, ran before. Yeah, but I mean, the main difference is this series, we don't have a Sejuani missing 75% of his ultimates in the series. <laughs> I'm just good. It's a meme. Eric will appreciate it, hopefully. Yeah, as we see the Xerath banned right it. here. Fiora was also banned. I would ban away that Malzahar, though. Um, yeah, I think that's – yeah, good idea. Yeah, mm -hmm. and there's the Malzahar ban um, from Pooh. No more Malzahar, Fubukake, Poro. Um, Zareth banned, and now we're waiting that last ban. I expect a Vigar ban right here. Um, potentially. I mean, you could hit uh, maybe even another one of uh, the support pool. That's but I, true. I foresee that being a thing they do as well. Could even ban – no, they go yeah. with the Ziggs. Interesting. So uh, to force them onto Vagar. Yeah, force them onto the Vagar. Uh, Shivana has a good win rate versus Rip, courtesy of Big Anime Titties. Trademark. Thank you, General Dill, for your... Guy Fieri, I mean, Stigan likes eating my Ultra. What? What is your Ultra? I don't know. Anyone know what this is? Ultra? Sounds like an Overwatch an thing. Sounds like a women's deodorant. Cool. Now using Ultra. Courtesy of the second best chunker in PMA LCS, but fourth in our hearts, General Dill. <laughs> Ooh. Don't you know it? I'll always be in theatric sound. Ooh, that's a Kogma. <laughs> oh, baby. I'm hyped. Is it C-Van's um, Kogma? Or is... uh, did they left Malphite open? Again? If Rip does not run the same comp... They, Rip has the opportunity to run the exact same comp they just dominated on. Except Malzahar. They're pretty much against the same exact team, too. Pooh's team is just the same team with just less CC so far. And they have a Shivana. I fully, I fully expect a, a Malphite Alistar right here. I would be shocked if they did not do that. I don't Does Shivana displace things with the... I mean, yeah. Oh, Morgana. That's also that's, really good. I, that's that's good, too, but I... Uh, I will see. Morgana is fairly strong in the moment. But you have to go Malphite here. You have to. I feel like there's no option. You have to kill the Cogba, and that's how they killed the Varus game number one. The Varus couldn't do much because, I mean, you saw in that last fight, game number one, Malphite killed the Varus by himself. Yep, it, there there's is, the it's Malphite. It's going to be the exact same thing this game if they can't deal with it early on. Yeah, and, you know, Morgana having more CC built into her kit than the Malzahar. Not as much damage, but still more potential for picks. Because now you're not just counting on Malzahar to land a Nethergast. Now you have the Dark Binding with Morgana as well as the Soul Binding and the Black Shield. So you still can't get on her. So I get very similar champ, but I think with more pick potential, the Morgana for Bukake Poro. As we wait this last pick, this is going to be the mid lane pick. Mm -hmm. Probably Vagar. Maybe he's got something else spicy up his sleeve. Zoe. I was just about to say that. I was like, it would be awesome if we could see Zoe. I love it. I am hyped. The I last time hyped. Pooh played Zoe, though, they had yeah. Lucida playing Zoe, which was in their Week 9 match versus HVG, and that did not go well. Oh, I'm, I'm still hyped, though. Let's go. So this is interesting. Okay, we'll be right back. I, I, am, I am ready. Still don't get the Braum pick. I don't know. Maybe it's just my feeling. Braum not super strong at the moment. Yeah, I haven't really seen a whole lot of Braum. I know that with the tank or with the support updates, they made Braum just a slightly less tanky, um, taking away that Relic Shield passive, which is super annoying because that added so much health. So you can't go face in the mountain anymore, and I'm very sad because of that. Anyways, we are looking to get set up into our game. They're already going into the bands. Eh, we're going to go up here. There we go. All right. So, chat, let us know what you guys are thinking. We have General Dills here saying that Brom blocks the Tristana E and R. I don't know if that's true, though, because the Brom 
had the bomb on his head a couple times last game. So maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe that was the other one. Definitely will block the the buster shot. But hmm, that's interesting. I'll have to watch to see about that. Triple tank What's comp on rip side again. What? Uh if the Brom bomb if Brom can block the the Tristana E. Which I don't know. E? Mm -mm. No, Freako. I don't think so. No. Sorry, Freako. Face of the Mountain actually does not exist in the game anymore. Rito has taken it out. Mm. So. Good about time. No, fuck you. Face of the Mountain was OP. I love that shit. Mm. Give me Good back my face Good of the Mountain. One. Hey, just more shields. Pat, did you used to play when Heart of Gold existed? What? Did you ever play when Heart of Gold existed? I probably did. I just don't remember it. That item was the best item ever. I don't care what anyone says. Heart <laughs> of Gold is the single greatest item. Second place is Force of Nature, sure. You sure it wasn't Deathfire Grasp? Or was no, Deathfire Death Fire... Grasp was stupid. That item was, should never have existed at any point, any time. That item was fun? I don't know what you're Death talking Fire about. Deathfire Grasp literally just gave people... 40% additional damage just for the next like three seconds. Just like, all right, here you go. Yeah, it was Take so it. much fun to play Assume. Ari and have Deathfire Grasp. It was so much fun <laughs> to play anybody mid and take Deathfire. Yeah. Rip Deathfire too big, our ults. Yep, indeed. Yeah, dude, Heart of Gold. Force of Nature was... So I really wish they'd bring Force of Nature back. I think... I think it'd be good. It'd probably make top lane super OP. I just feel like there's not a very good... So, um, I don't know. I guess Spear and Visage re re responds to it or replaced it. But I feel like there's not a very good replacement if you don't have a sustained top laner. But I digress. Yeah. Anyways, let's take a look at these, these teams right here. Um, we have a Warwick, a Malphite, a Morgana, a Tristana... And an Alistar for Rich is Provoked. What do you think the win condition is for them? Is it just more of the same from last game? Mm, yeah, I think so. I think they kind of figured out what they need to do in situations where Pooh has the hyper carry. And I think they're just going to do the exact same thing. I think the um, Morgana will be a good pick because it will prevent their main engage, which is Braum engage. And once they do that, there won't be much they can kind of do to get on top of them. I and mean, you have the Dragon's Descent for Shivana um, that can just jump into the middle of a team. And I think that does knock people out of the way, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so that will be a little bit disruptive. Plus, you have the Kled to make it go fast. It pushes people back. Yeah, it pushes people back. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, I can see that. Um, but then with the Alistar, Alistar just headbutts anything away, and you've disengaged it. Um, so what do you do, then, if you are Poo? Um Obviously, one of the Shivana this time instead of Ramus that just kind of rolled around in a circle. I think you have to rely on the Zoe Bubbles landing. I think that's really important to your team's success. If you can land those sleepy bubble troubles uh, wherever you can, then that needs to be your main form of engage. All right. So, chat, let us know. I've never seen Hiramar play Zoe, so I'm excited. Yeah, I've never seen it either. I've seen Hansu play a lot of Zoe, but no one cares about that trash can. Preach it, man. <laughs> you dirty one trick. Anyways, so, yeah, especially with the Kog'Ma, though. If you can keep that Kog'Ma alive, he could shred through the team as well, especially that back line. Um, so yeah, chat, let us know what you think in the, give us your responses, give us your thoughts, give us your hashtag rip win or hashtag poo win. You yeah. know what I realized? We should have an overlay that says what team is on what side right now. I feel like for a general spectator, they wouldn't know. Um, well, we have, okay, well, we'll just tell them right now. We have we go. for riches provoked. That's juice me, mommy, in the top lane. Very much likes daddy. What? <laughs> Menbung in the jungle. Bukake Poro in the mid lane. Jirachi at ADC, and then Summoner twenty eight oh five at support. 
Over for the poo, we have Hillary Clinton, the People's Champion, Labyrinth 1898, Hiramar in the mid lane, Will the Missile at ADC, and then Bear Jr. playing support. We'll see. We'll see chat here for a second. Yeah, I agree. Ramos would have been better. Um, I, I really think their team fight is not going to be strong, especially against a Malphite, Warwick, Morgana. It's going to be really hard to do anything against that. I mean, that team is is pretty scary, dangerous over there. I uh, mean, it's like if if you look at Rip. Their team is pretty much exactly the same, except they got rid of Malzahar and added in second Malzahar. <laughs> that that's pretty true. I actually would have liked to see Labyrinth eighteen ninety eight go something like Maokai or Lee Sin, something that can get in and just knock somebody back into their team and just hold them still. You know what I mean? Like Maokai could go in on the Tristana after she, as she's rocket jumping away. And then just sit on her. Sejuani also would have been a good pick. Um, or Lee Sin. But then the Lee Sin would have been super ballsy. I feel like. So. Sedge doesn't do damage. No. But what Sedge does provide is a lot of CC from interesting angles. Um, you know, Glacial Prison over the wall would certainly help the Zoe. Anyways. We are getting into the game. Zoe is taking Ignite. Braum has an exhaust. Kled TP. And then over for the other side, we have Bukake Poro taking an exhaust. So double exhaust and one TP. <laughs> but they really don't have anything to stop Malphite. Yeah, they need to get top weight ahead early on. Yeah. Anyways, we are loading into the game. So Zoe's boosted garbage <laughs> is now past the point of being confused at what Zoe can do. I would hope so. C Van score should just pop up right then now. On I stream. will 100% disagree with that. That is not true at all. Zoe has potential to seriously pop off, but we'll see. Yeah. Maybe not in this game, but I think she's a great champion. That is unsealed, unsealed spellbook for both uh Malphite. <laughs> And Morgana, I can't. English is hard. It, yeah, it's all right. We're the best. We're the best casters at AI anyway, Panda. Let's yeah, go. Let, let's be honest. We're coming for those jobs. Dash. They got nothing we're coming on for me, you, dude. Someone clip that and send it to him. I do not live in Zoe's butt. I live in her hair. She is a ginger, and therefore I connect. Hmm. Uh, it's funny that uh, <laughs> C-Van, the god, is trash-talking me, yet one of our teams is still in playoffs. <laughs> Sucks to suck, doesn't it, C-Van? It's only C-Van. I only like to trash-talk. <laughs> and Eric. Those are the two people I like to trash-talk. Uh, looks like we have all kinds of pings over onto this red, this top side jungle. It looks like both teams are actually going to invade on opposite sides of the river. Oh my goodness, this is a clown fiesta. When your beloved commissioner <laughs> BMs, yes, it's sad life sucking. <laughs> I would argue I BM top five in the league. Not, not, oh, but only mainly against like Eric. <laughs> and but others. If you're watching Eric, fuck you. And Rob, don't forget Roberto. Or oh, Julio. Yeah, of course, of course. Pretty it much anybody on your original team, let's be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no. Hillary Clinton is walking into the top side, not knowing no that the entire team is sitting up there. What are they doing? I don't know. They're now in the tri bush. Are they going to turn around? Hillary Clinton uh -oh. is about to walk uh -oh. into two of them. Oh, but oh, is going to see them before. Oh, and there's uh -oh. pings all over the map. What? What? What is? Mug is still there. <sighs> Mug is still there. What? <laughs> they don't know he's there. Is he just gonna take the red buff? Oh no, they're gonna class on him. They have an idea. No, he's just gonna take it. He's gonna see Kled walk over a ward, but Kled's gonna see the red buff walk into the bush. Oh wait, he knows. They know, he knows yeah, he comes. No, what is he doing? But Juice Me Mommy is here. They're taking so much aggro Make from him. Make them take the red buff. Yeah, oh, he, they're gonna get it. He is, yeah, there it goes. Red buff stolen. Shivana is just gonna walk bot lane then. Juice Me Mommy just gonna opt to go for uh. 
Oh, excuse me, not just you on me. Bear Jr. just gonna opt. Oh no, they're gonna collapse on this. Look at this. They know Bukaki Poro calling for the red buff. They know exactly where he is. Oh, but the ward's gonna miss him though. They're not gonna know. No, there's wow. pings on it. Like... There's pings. They know. Oh yeah, of course. Of course he's gonna go do that. Oh no, he's getting collapsed on. He's got the blast cone though and flash. He should be okay. No, oh, but the blast cone knocks him towards the mid lane. Oh, he's okay though. He's oh the Black binding hits. Bind Oh, binding misses. Oh, nice flash. Nice flash. Yeah, uh, but this means will the missile is able to get some good damage off onto that turret. Oh, that was craziness. Woo! That, that <laughs> oh, man, that was a little bit of a wild early game. A uh, couple of wards missing the ganks there early on, but, uh, you know, in the end, no kills, bunch of summoner spells, and Labyrinth, I guess, in the end, nothing really ended up happening because they're in the same space, place except just summoners on whose side yeah slight slight uh cs lead for labyrinth at the moment um <laughs> shivana just farms so easily yeah also Membung hasn't taken his blue buff yet so that that's probably a little bit of that as we're just gonna see some general trading going on all over the map Malphite spamming Q gets me hard. All right, chat, you're uh, weird. <laughs> I mean, it's odd that it doesn't for you, but it's all right. You know, because I want something. <laughs> John. God damn it, John. <laughs> um, seeing actually a pretty big lead early on here for Hiramar. Uh, yeah. Up, uh, Doing a good job. Maybe, maybe like, uh, get an early kill. We'll see. Yeah. Well, I think that was a little bit of courtesy of Bukake Poro trying to collapse in onto uh, Labyrinth that took him on a little merry chase and just kind of missed out on a wave. <laughs> Chat weird says the guy worried. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but do you have a panda hat? That is a good uh, point. Yeah. I don't think he does. Nope. So he's not as cool. I agree. Yep. OP1, more like OP loss. Eh? Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, teleport canceled. Off. But yeah. Oh no, but Harry <laughs> Clinton might go down now. I know he's okay. Shirachi is trying to trade with Will the Missile. going to land the explosive charge. Rocket jumps in. Headbutt and pulverize. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know about that. Exhaust coming out on Will the Missile. is going to get stunned. But Jirachi is also exhausted and is also going to be stunned. That was, that was actually a nice... Uh... Nice little turn there from uh, Summoner 2805 on that Alistar, trying to make a play happen. Uh, I think they could have maybe waited a little bit longer. Uh, I think it was a little forced, maybe try to knock them back further into the team. But still, Summoner's on Kog'Maw burned, and good thing for them. <laughs> yeah, actually, there's a bunch of Summoner's burned there. Will the Missile burn both Flash and Heal. So, uh, Bear Jr. burned uh, Exhaust. And then flash exhaust for summoner 2805 and Jirashi still has both summoners. So summoner advantage for Riches Provoked, um, but only by one. As Shivana was unable to take that dragon, so. Yeah, I think they really need to get Labyrinth this dragon. Uh, it's very crucial on Shivana that you get these dragons, especially scaling at the late game. Uh, you know, he's gonna try to keep soloing them, but if they keep the vision on it, it's gonna be hard for them to do so, as they might be in the jungle here. As Menbung and Labyrinth are seeing each other into the jungle, oh, but they're not going to take a fight there. As Zoe has TP'd back to lane. Zoe doesn't have. Hey. Oh, the summoner's phone. Hey. Just Zoe things. Let's go. Who is Frico? I do not know. But welcome. Welcome to the welcome to the LCS. As Lambert oh, is coming in for a gank, Rocket Jump's gonna hit him out. But Summoner 2805 is gonna be stunned. 
And Summoner 2805 is going to die to Labyrinth 1898 as that is first blood over to Pooh. Nice gank there from Labyrinth. The follow up from Bear to pick up that first blood for Pooh. Really crucial, especially getting it on the Siobhan to get him ahead. And now they're going to try to get the Infernal. Yeah, but they walked over some wards on the way over. As Will is here, they also use Sleepy Bubble, I think. They're going to land a binding onto Labyrinth. Those Labyrinth is now taking a lot of damage. This dragon, they have eyes on. Both teams have eyes on. As Menbung is in, Menbung is stolen the oh. dragon. As Labyrinth now is going to die to Jirachi. The auto hitting as Jirachi is going to rocket jump in. Bear Jr. has been stunned, but is going to use the, bla the stopwatch. And Menbung is eventually going to pick up the kill there. Not giving it over to his ADC because junglers need kills too. Nice flash over the wall by Menbung. You know, they, they knew he had flash. They knew... It was warded. It was just a matter of, uh, you know. Oh, was it warded? I think it was. Yeah, the dragon was warded. Yeah. So, nice pick up there for Rip, bringing that, uh, preventing that dragon and getting one themselves. Oh, as the binding is going to land onto Zoe, but the Kakiporo looks to be pretty low on mana. Hero Mark could definitely win this fight if he could land a, a bubble. Morgana does not have a lot of mana. Uh, as oh. Juice Me Mommy is going to get pulled back, the turret oh, is on, he's, but he's oh. taking turret right, damage from the from stopwatch, earlier. and it's the same result as last time. Except this time, he used the stopwatch and he didn't get him, and he had his ultimate. But there you go, John. There you go. He didn't have enough mana this time, though. If he did last time, he might have gotten that kill. Oh, as Membong oh, is going to use the ultimate, but Hillary Clinton's going nice to flash, flash away. Great flash. Great flash. That's definitely like a time where your laner and solo queue won't be paying attention. He'll be on his phone texting and then he'll <laughs> die. Yeah. But good awareness right there from Hillary Clinton to flash away. Does that TP. We'll be able to get back to lane quickly as the Rift Herald is going to spawn here pretty soon. So I, I just want to address kind of that gank and a more general about stopwatch this is why people don't like stopwatch because it makes jungling early on instead of only having to gank two times theoretically to burn their summoner and then come back now you have to gank three times you have to burn their summoner you have to burn their stopwatch and then you have to come back again you know obviously there's situations where you can get more than one in a gank and you know you can get a more you know a nice pick from your laner that you're ganking but it just makes it so much harder to pull off those ganks early on and it makes your laning phase way safer that's why hashtag it should be 10 minutes. Yeah. Anyways, we have a slight gold lead for Riches Provoked. Um, two kills to one so far, about 10 minutes in. And the game's following a pretty similar pattern to the last one. Imagine that. It might be because Riches Provoked picked pretty much the same team. Or you get good before you kill them before five minutes. John the Vandal telling Kirk Seven how he should do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. That's that's the real answer right there. Slight gold lead. Gold lead is practically the same. It is a slight gold lead. Like a hundred gold. Shut up, Elliot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As Drachi is taking a turret shot here, getting a lot of damage from Will the Missile. <laughs> Like the name Will the Missile. That's great. As Bear Trap is going to land on Juice Me Mommy, going to pull back, but not going to follow up as Menbung is topside. Might be going for a gank here. Maybe not. Dark Binding is going to miss. Wide to the left, like Blair Walsh kicking field goals. <laughs> Winter's Bite going to hit Summoner 2805, but there's no follow-up from the missile as Jirachi walks up and autos him once. As Hiramar is bouncing all over the place, Redemption coming out, and all kinds of craziness from Zoe as Bukake Poro is so low, but Menbun comes in, gets the gank, and Bukake Poro gets a kill on the Hiramar. Man, that was close. I'm that, that literally right there. Obviously, with the, the gank from uh, Menbug be different. That literally right there shows the difference between a stopwatch and no stopwatch. He could have stopwatched that ultimate and dodged it and had full health. 
Folks, that item yeah. is not, or that master is not very strong, or is super strong. Summoner 2805 oh. is popping the ult. They're going to get the unstoppable force, oh. though, but the glacial fissure pops out. They're going to kill Bear Jr. That's Juice Me Mommy. He's roamed all the way down. Menbung oh. is diving in behind, and Jirachi is going to pick up another mm -hmm. kill as Menbung was taking turret aggro. Is going to live. The cog's not rip. enough. And that Ooh, was very well played. Nice flash ultimate from Juicy Mom. I mean, nice follow by them under the turret, knowing exactly what they could do to get those kills. Really, really great macro play. And they get the first turret and the TP coming out from Juice Me Mommy gonna prevent Hillary Clinton from getting top turret in return. So overall just great macro play from Rich is provoked. Will the torpedo, will the missile. I'm a changed mind to OP the hand grenade. <laughs> I said 10 minutes. I think stopwatch at 10 minutes is is a very good change. And I think it should, uh, right now on the PB, they have it where you can't get the boots and stopwatch in the same mastery, but I don't think that's the problem. I think it's just stopwatch. Hey, Blackest Strand, no one cares about Fortnite. I am bad at Fortnite too, but I would be down to play and lose every time with you. Play PUBG, a real man's game. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's too no, much work. I play it on Xbox. Is it cross console? No. If it was cross console, that would be so bad for the Xbox players. I don't care. I would just would let you guys like, carry it. It is so clunky on the Xbox. Yeah, Fortnite. Hashtag Fortnite. That's what's up. Yep. As Hiramar, they're going to take this crab as another dragon is going to spawn here. So, I, 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 so. Chances Oop. Menbung comes in and steals this dragon again. If they go for it. Probably pretty high. Yeah, Juice Me Mommy is roaming down again. Doesn't have TP to get back in the lane. But with an unbound spell book, that TP will be back sooner rather than later. I'll get it legally changed to will. Oh no. Fortnite, BB. Fortnite is the way to go. False Fortnite is not the way to go. Don't like <laughs> the Lich Bane for Hiramar. I did not even notice that. As yeah, I don't Rich like is... that either. I think you have to go Morello and then Lich Bane, generally. Yeah. Uh, against, against this team, I might even go Morello and then Void Staff. A bit interesting that Kled is roaming down. The dragon's already gone. That is a Mountain Drake. Sleepy Bubble misses, and Kled, instead of taking the turret, has walked all the way down and not gotten anything, as Menbung is going to use a Blast Cone to knock himself away for no reason. And Hillary Clinton's going to try and defend here. Sleepy Bubble does hit... <laughs> but it's going to get the black shield out in time to block the damage. Yeah, Zoe, not... I don't know, Lich Bane's not a bad idea. Cause it will, because her basic attacks and passive, if I'm not mistaken, kind of functions like a Lich Bane. So, he could do that, I guess. But, I don't know. Menbung backing away from the Scuttle Crab. And Bear Jr. cleaning up wars over in the Dragon Pit. So, all in all, one tower to zero, five kills to one at 15 minutes. Also two dragons, so no dragons for the Shivana yet. So, again, 3k gold lead for, or well, it's about 2k gold lead actually, for Riches Provoked. And two kills on the Tristana again this time, so... And still has stopwatch. And two assists. So, yep, so keep in mind, that's going to be another Jirachi popping off on a champion. They just played last game, so good success right there. Keys to Pooh's victory, Ohm Wrecker. You know, that actually might not be a terrible idea if they're going to dive. <laughs> it's a terrible idea. <laughs> but why would you dive? Oh, Sleepy Bubble is going to land on to Bukake Poro, and that just half helps him. Yeah, you can't spell shield that after it hits you. It has to be beforehand. Hmm. Which oh. makes sense, in my opinion. Yeah, I don't think he knows that, though, because he keeps trying it. Yeah. And Maybe he's trying to use it beforehand, but he just keeps getting unlucky with the time. Hillary timing. Clinton is near three. Might not know, but Juice Me Wami is going to back. Does have ultimate, does have TP. As we are going to see Riches Provoke pushing on the top lane. Jirachi just pounding away. Is does have a little bit of turret aggro, but Braum is here as well. Summoner twenty eight oh five and the Kogma. Oh, and Shoes Me Mommy is back. 
Oh, didn't actually back. Still there. This is a 4v3 at the top lane right now. Oh, well, we could see. Oh. Yeah, I think we're going to see a potential Malphite ultimate. Here it is. Nope. No, they are they are on the Rift Herald right now. That that's Menbung in the Rift Herald pit. Yeah, good call. Might as well. You know, you had the you had the push in here. They can't really react. Can't really react to it. You have a pretty big gold lead. Just go ahead and pick that up. <laughs> Zoe life. I love that. A little preemptive burn on the black shield there as Labyrinth is taking the chickens, and Labyrinth right now just uh, not having as huge effect in the Amen, game as Menbung is. Amen. Mid lane, mid lane. This is where frat stars are born. Top lane is bitch main. Agreed. Top lane sucks. Yeah. Uh, so honestly, boring. Top laners that play champions like like Nar. Aatrox and Irelia and Orn, they're just like the absolute worst people this world Earth has to offer. As we see or the God, Rift Herald spawn like in the top lane, they're gonna push for this turret as demolished stacks are gonna come out. And the explosive charge. There goes the turret. They're gonna go for two. Zoe's rotating. Labyrinth is still bot side. As Sleepy Bubble hits Menbung, but the Krug is going to block the damage. And Zoe is just chain CC'd to death. As I think that was two or three ultimates were burned right there. On to Zoe. Unstoppable force. The little Warwick nom 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 and then Malphite pulverize. That was kind of funny. Pukake Poro lands a Dark Binding on the Labyrinth. Also gets the Soul Binding, but Flash away. But what is that? Jirachi going Ooh, ham and Jirachi yeah. taking turret shots. Oh, no, yeah. he did not get him. Close. Jirachi, though, going to get this turret. <laughs> that was an aggressive flash over the wall. But, but you know you know what's worse than being a top player that plays those champions? Having spiky white or blonde hair. Ooh. Agreed? Uh, very much agreed. I yeah. I think all right in, in chat if you if you agree with this that having spiky white or blonde hair is the just just worst thing you could possibly do on this planet just let us know but uh pretty pretty big lead actually here 3k gold lead 19 minutes in is nothing to scoff about um gonna try to keep it going i guess with dragon and baron both being up in 40 seconds probably prioritize that that dragon obviously get Ooh. it away from the shivana the cocky poro is able to channel that tp all the way through it's gonna save the turret for now but that thing's gotta have like 10 health c-van <laughs> did it of course it's the amen. worst thing ever amen well said no being the creator of donkey sauce is the worst i don't know what that is uh, i'm assuming it's a guy fieri thing and I'm going to trust my boy Elliot to the, not leave me wrong. As Will is the Will, missile... Is Will going to die to minions? He looks oh, like he right. will. Uh, you get it? Yep. He looks like he will. Uh, <laughs> as Dark Binding of the Flash <laughs> over the wall by Bukake Poro is not going to hit the missile. Can we get an exclamation point, cheese? That's a Greg play right there. <laughs> That's a Greg Flash. Excavation point cheese, please. As Juice Me Mommy now is sitting here, gonna find Labyrinth as Labyrinth face checks the bush. Bukake Poro is still here, is gonna get hit by Sleepy Time Bubble as Jirachi is gonna face tank Ooh. that for Yurimar and lose half his health bobble. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, meanwhile, another dragon has gone over for Thritch is provoked, and that's two Infernal Drakes and a Mountain Drake, so they have a lot of damage now. Bukaki Gerg. Please Bukaki. never call me that. Ever. Oh. Ever. We confirmed like the, the... that Menbug does not know the meaning of Bukaki. We're not going to discuss that meaning here on stream, but go ahead and look that up if you'd uh, like. I was going to say, put it in the chat. Make a vote if you want to see the next YouTube video. Be a uh, Bukaki Greg video. And then we'll watch us get banned. Yeah, that was Ethan trying to be Ali. I agree. Ali does the same thing. She just flashes in and tries to make fun plays. It's way more enjoyable to play the game that way. C War versus G5 Week 8. That's true. <laughs> Pretty much G5 anything is. You're going to see a clown fiesta, so. 
Which this is kind of turning into a clown fiesta, if we're honest. Yeah, I'm, I think they really need to play around these sleepy bubbles landing. I think that's the only way they get anything. You just have to hope for that and hope for the you can get the burst from the rest of your team. And Zoe having completed a Lich Bane first item. And has a blasting wand, so interesting to see what they're gonna what he's gonna build with Boyd that. Point staff, I assume. Have to. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, Rip actually having a really good control over this game. I feel like it hasn't gone. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's. I don't think we're gonna maybe see past the thirty minute game if they can push and, sh and close this one out. This group has too loose of a definition of clown fiesta. I agree. I agree. Clown Fiesta defines games that are like 40 minutes long where there's like 25 kills on both sides and like people are losing objectives left and right and stupid. This is just kind of like... So any game that dominating. G5 played. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. See, Eric, not overused. I mean, our average game time was like 40... You're not wrong, C-Man. It really was about 40 minutes. As Bear Jr. is going to lose half his health bar to one binding and pool as Stream just kind of froze a little bit there. Hiramar misses the bubble. Eric is a clown fiesta. It's 37 and a half. Whatever. I don't care. Per Urban Dictionary, clown fiesta is a ridiculous ensnare in which no one is really sure what is taking place. Yeah, I agree. That's, that's yeah. a great way to describe it. I'm oh, not really what sure what's going on right now. Are you, are you sure? Beaten down. That That's true. As we see some I mean, shenanigans just... in the jungle, as Jirachi is going to rocket jump in. The blast Wait, cone what? is going to knock Pear Jr. over as Menbung was leaping. That was an interesting mechanic. Oh! As Menbung flashes, going to get the fear onto Hillary Clinton. And Hillary Clinton is going to lose Scarl. Glacial Fissure coming out. And that's going to be able to disengage. His unstoppable force comes in from Juice Me Mommy, but there is no follow up. Oh, finally, Jirachi gets a couple autos off, and Hillary Clinton okay. is dead. That was a clown fiesta. <laughs> Dirty Sanchez Dutch up. Uh, what? What happened? Can, what happened with that blast cone? That was so weird. I don't know. Menbun going in, gets the black shield. Zoe is trying to get away from Juice Me Mommy as Rich's Provoke is kind of just running around doing whatever they please at the moment. Going to take this mid-tier two, it looks like. Uh, Dark Binding missing wide to the left. We're not going to say anything about field goals, but it would be a very apt description. <laughs> Hashtag Eagles, let's go. Hashtag the Eagles? fuck the Patriots. Yeah, here we go, Panda. Bear Jr. walking up, going to hit the winner's bite, but the Black Shield is going to block both Sleepy Bubble and Bite as... Gonna land a long paddle, paddle star, but that did not do a whole lot of damage. You know, as we I thought Warwick Alti was unstoppable. Uh, I don't think it is. Yeah, hashtag fuck the Patriots. Alabama hot what? I don't even want to know. Russian hand grenade. Outplayed the fuck by Ben Bung auto in the blast. So gun. can you stop Warwick mm. Ultimate with flight? Yes, that will stop it. Ah. Bear Jr. though is pretty low as Pooh is going to try and take this Baron. Bukake Poro is in. Bukake Poro is going to kill Labyrinth. And Menblunk oh. then is going to get the Baron. Oh, <laughs> Unstoppable Force is going to pick Bear Jr. on the other side. Oh, no, Will the Missile dead. is going to have to try and use his QSS and get away, but he's going to die oh, to. No. And Hiramar <laughs> is jumping back into Menblunk. And that is a very unfortunate turnaround. Four kills and the Baron going over to Rich's Provoke. Like they needed any more things to go their way. There goes mid tier two. Mid tier inhib. Gonna go down. Yeah, I called it mid tier inhib. No, it will cancel it, but not stop it. It can get canceled after the game. I think they could just shove it in and win. Baron, now they're going to have to, yeah. to back. They're going to play they the long game. Almost. No, they're going to go bottom lane. They're going to go bottom lane. Or yeah. this dragon. This dragon's going to spawn here pretty soon, about 20 yeah, seconds Yeah, I mean, you have away. Baron. You might as well just use it to push. I mean, you have a mountain and two infernals. I mean, you're up by so much. There's nothing they can do to you right now. You just need to shove in and end the game. You get you get, you get get the dragon after you're done sieging, and you get all these inhibs. That's true. If they win this game, this is going to be match, game set and match as... 
They already won game number one. Wow. Thanks, Juicy Mommy. Well, we falling asleep. On the job. On the job. Rip. As another sleepy bubble has landed on the Warwick. That is going to do half of Bukake Poro's health, though. A little paddle star right there. As Dark Binding misses again. Hiramar jumping into the middle of everybody and getting away with it. As another sleepy bubble. And there's actually oh, a surrender. What? Oh wow. That is right. the match for That's All the right, match well. for Rich is Provoked. So Rich is Provoked is your quarterfinal winner. They will be taking on uh who are they? They get HVG. We're yes. be taking on us. Oh no. BGM. BGM. Oh, that's right. You are the mm -hmm. Yep. So Rip, mm -hmm. Rip will be taking on BGM. That is your semifinal match number one and semi-final match number two is hvg versus war anyways we're gonna move on to our post game stuff all right uh, uh i think if i was gonna give it to three people as the uh, mvp candidate votes i'd say uh jirachi bukaki poro and menbung hmm. i was gonna say juice me mommy menbung and jirachi i'm okay with that too so flip a coin I think either one is good. Yeah, let's just put them all in. All right, that's fine. We'll do four. I'm cool with that. I think they're all even. Poor summoner. Poor summoner. Anyways, we're going to look at some quick damage stats as we turn the music back on. Uh, let's see here. Only one death. That was the Alistair. Um, damage done to champions here. Let's see. We have... About 10,000 done by Jirachi in a 27-minute game. That's quite a bit of damage right there. Uh, oh, all kinds of things. Lightsaber now is now following Henlo. Thank you for the follows. Yeah, the casters are deciding on the MVP candidates here. Well, we, got, we, we let, let us just choose. Let us just choose. Actually, this the whole the, team. They, I think they, I think, in my honest opinion, I think you could argue any four of those people for MVP. I think any one of those four, Bukaki Poro and Juicy Mommy, could be MVP. I think Summoner played well, but I don't think it was he was the MVP of their team. So that's right. my opinion. If we look at some stats, Summoner did place 45 wards in a 27-minute match. Almost two wards a minute. Don't no. vote in that poll. Hashtag fake news. Hashtag fake poll. Ignore Jirachi. This is a hashtag fake poll. Hashtag fake poll. Anyways, Hashtag fake poll, please. Going back to the damage numbers, you have Zoe doing the most damage for Bear Jr. Poops in the wood Woods with 9,200. Um, Kled, though, being the next closest at 4,000. So quite a sizable difference there. Uh, Bear Jr. Poops in the Woods just kind of lacking the damage to prolong team fights. Anyways, straw pull API's turn and air try again. <laughs> Rip. Literally. So yeah, some damage numbers there for everybody. Uh, oh, I don't think I don't think straw pull works right now, actually. Oh no, it works. I'll make one right now. <laughs> it wasn't working for me earlier today, I was trying to do it. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't want to do things like this. Alright, I got it right now. Don't you worry. All right. So, everybody, get your votes in for the MP MVP. We're going to... So, who is yours, Panda? My MVP. Hmm. I think my MVP is going to be Menbung with the amount of things he was able to do he kind of dictated the pace of the game oh. i felt like um with his ability to invade as well as get his get his lanes ahead um most of his lanes were able to build some kind of lead um whether it be in the top lane or in the bot lane or in the mid lane All right every one of his lanes got some kind of lead at some point in time um so I would I'm gonna go with Menbung for my boat. What about you? 
I 100% agree. I don't, honest, to be blatantly honest with you, I do not think there is really any other option. I think in both games, he just played phenomenally on this Warwick. His ultimates were always on point. He was always at the right objective at the right time. I mean, he really stepped up the series. I think uh, he definitely earned it. Yeah, so, and that I think was one of the keys going into this match was, you know, what what are we going to see out of the junglers? And Menbung was just a step above Labyrinth all game. There was a point in time in game two where Labyrinth spent a lot of time bot lane, not pushing an objective, whereas Menbung stayed with his team in the top lane. And I think they took the Rift Herald and a turret, maybe two turrets and a couple kills. So, yeah, just very well played. Well played by Menbung. And over for Pooh, it's a bit, it's a very disappointing result. Um, you know they had they had pretty high hopes coming into this game, um, but they overall had a very well played season. Um, yeah, and and it's also a team with four people that are brand new to the LCS. Yeah. Um, so that's awesome to see. Awesome to see that we have new people playing. I think they all had a really good time. Uh, you know, I like like you know like you said, unfortunate ending to them, but I don't think the end justifies the mean. I think they had a really good time over the the split. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna leave the uh the poll open for a couple another couple minutes maybe close it at 903 um but we're gonna take a slight break and you can listen to some league of legends are you sure you don't want to just jump up i think we could just get it done now oh just get it done now yeah i think they're all ready to rock if you want all right whatever we'll, we'll just close it hey all right okay cool. let's ready? go yeah on to all the other champions so. okay. hey hello hey what's going on Hello, How hello. How's it going, guys? Congratulations going in, on a well-played game. Thank you. So, chat, get us your questions. Just saying, just saying, guys, um, can we just clear on what the casters and Menbung do it? Uh... I mean, I, I, I figure we ask Nick just because it's we're, it's still in the old season. We haven't really changed it yet. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. And also, that's, we need to fair. give the other team a chance to respond if they have any questions from chat. That's fair. Okay, I'm still gonna mute myself, but yeah. All right. Cool. So, um, first off, uh, I had a question for Sean. Um, what was kind of the idea with those team comps? It looked pretty consistent from game to game. Um, was that by design? Um. So Rich is like they're so good at like doing numbers and stuff pre prep. They put a lot of work into the week. Um, so that's really on them for their pre-work. Now, I have a big say vocally, but we never... We've run into some problems in the past to where we've had like people not be happy with the comps, even with... Or the champions selected for them. So we made sure this week that we made everyone's voice feel equal. Okay. Right. Uh, I am unmuting myself to just ask what the hell oh, was that? That was that was that was great. Five out of seven. Um so um that that's on uh, it's it's the whole team together, but it was very apparent that we were worried uh not necessarily worried, but we were uh cognizant of top lane and how they used to like they, they like to split push for poo and then the group is four we wanted to make um r4 try to be very strong and have a safe mid lane because if bear nick decides to like do his roams like he does we needed to have something that was fairly safe in the mid lane uh hence is why you saw the unsealed spell books just in case like they regank and stuff wasn't expecting the Ramus, but overall the team comps, um, I would give it to Rich and then the rest of the guys for um, voicing their input on what they felt comfortable with. All right. Greg, you got a question? Yeah, I do. Uh, mine's going to go specifically to Bear, actually, in this uh, question. I guess both can comment on it. But mm -hmm. Bear, uh, game number two. Uh, you uh, you know obviously in the early picks you saw Rip running back the same comp they ran number one or ran game number one. Uh, what was your guys' mindset for the rest of Pickman in the game to kind of try to change the result? 
Um, I mean, first game, a little more unfortunate than the second, uh, with some of the skirmishes where we got hit by the Malphite ults. So I didn't really want to change up our play style too much because I think we drafted a really solid team. Um, I think the second team comp was even better, maybe minus the fact that Hero hadn't practiced too much Zoe, but I still think he did pretty good damage numbers for doing coming in behind. But uh, we just needed to farm and scale. So like literally, if we didn't fight at all in the second game, we would have won. Like the only the only reason we we lost is because we gave up six kills early, mm -hmm. which let that team scale. They had no they had no siege other than the Tristana. So literally, we just had to sit and Brom shield every Tristana E, and then we would have been 100% turrets the whole game and been fine. Uh, but we got baited into some fights that we didn't want to take, and it was um, literally the fights we were taking were due to a f uh, miscommunications, uh, overlapping shot calls, and like just confusion and, and nervousness of the match, I think. So it was just a random, random instances where we'd engage stupid fights when we could have just farmed it out, and that that was our mindset was basically farm, farm to win, get the cog and Zoe big, and they couldn't do anything to outscale us. Oh, and really? also the Shivana, the Shivana could focus on farming instead of having to gank. The first game we had a scaling comp, but he tried to gank too much um, way throughout the game, and the counter ganks are way easier to pull off than the than the gank. So that's that's what led to all those skirmishing, and we did not want skirmishing versus a, a Malzahar Warwick. So um, overall, just uh, we didn't play to our win conditions. All right, chat. Do you got any questions that aren't troll questions? I, I, yeah, but I'm not accepting any questions about what Bukaki is. <laughs> Yeah. I actually have another question for uh, for for both of you. Um, so kind of this this basically goes back to to team comps in in a sense. Um, so realizing that the Zerath was banned and the Ziggs, uh, what was the decision to go with the Zoe over the Vagar? Knowing I know Hero has played it in the past. Um, I think Zoe has a strong early game and then doesn't slow down and after like she just keeps getting better and better throughout the game mm -hmm. whereas Zerath has points in the game where it's a little bit easier to like mid game before he gets his two item spike he's pretty useless um early game he's all right he he goes even kind of with Malzahar because <laughs> Malzahar can just out push him sort of but I meant I meant the Ve did I say Zerath? I meant Vagar in game two. Oh yeah, yeah. Instead of instead of going for Vagar, that's what I mean. Like I think oh, Zoe no. I think Zoe just does does his job better. I get that. I get that. Okay, cool. I got another question yeah, from I chat. Was, I was real just real quick, sorry. Yep, no problem. We were really concerned. We thought that it was gonna be the Vagar. We didn't even know the man played Zoe. Uh, <laughs> Rich yeah. and I were. I figured discussing. you didn't play. I figured you didn't know that, and also that I you actually didn't knew it. The I'm Shibana sorry, but I actually knew both. Do y'all hear something? Well, I thought this there, was, was a there someone that said they were gonna keep their mic yeah. muted the whole time? Yeah, I thought. So I figured. Sorry. I figured so 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 yeah, no more of that. I figured you knew it, and they got moved. <laughs> yeah, I but I wanted to get the Brom. You notice how I picked up the Brom early in both drafts? Yeah. Well, I felt like it. One, it gives you a really strong level one, and then in lane two ADCs that you were choosing. Like, Varus is probably arguably one of the better late game scaling team fight chance if he's left alone. He's also good early too, but I don't think I don't think random guy plays him that well early. But he does he does play a good a good late game Varus. Well sure. yeah, well like missile missile definitely has the positioning for a Varus and Cogmal to make them both work. They're both Rage Blade users. Yeah. And Cogmal is definitely more oppressive. And it gave us it gave us the percent health damage to kill the Warwick. Yeah, and um, Malphite in both yeah, games. Yeah. But so we, just like, next, was, we just walked into Malphite ults every single fight, so it was just like, what yeah, are you going to do? It was well executed, like, drafting-wise, especially on the bot side lane, because Braum with Kog'Maw, Braum with Varus, with Chain Yeah, we had a really, really strong draft. We just had to play to it, and we could have won easily, but we just didn't. So I agree. We have a question from chat uh, for Bear. Why shy away from the Misfortune pick, which is arguably the Missile's best <laughs> champion? <laughs> the Missile? Oh, my gosh. Uh, I would say Tristana is his best champion. Ooh. Yeah, that I guess what he's that. saying is that with Tristana down, why are you shying away from Misfortune? Um, I mean, 
Misfortune's been falling off in recent patches. Tristana's a direct counter to Misfortune, so you don't want to pick it into it. And uh, Kogma is a much better ADC right now, which Will has been practicing. And also, he's been practicing carries like Ash and shit like that that offers utility. Varus, I asked him, I, I didn't know he played Varus really. I just asked him, how confident do you feel on Varus? And he said, yeah. pretty, pretty strong. And I'm like, okay, that's good enough for me. And I locked it in for him. So it was a matter of that. The Varus and the Cog, I think, are the two strongest ADCs right now in this meta. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think the Malphite was definitely a big counter to that. I mean, you have the the hyper carries, but yeah, you know, and that was a matter of us group. We clumped as four. The second mm -hmm. game, I kept I kept telling everyone not to clump because we we're it's it's easy to clump because you feel like you're safe next to your ally, and that's right. what everyone right. was doing. And then you're running into the fight trying to think you're safe, and then just get we just get obliterated by the <laughs> four men. We got hit by three or four four man ults that game. So yeah. your top laner carried that game. Sure. Yeah, and I mean, I'll say this: I appreciate chat voting for me, and it's my first. I MVP. mean, actually, I, I would say you carry both, but. Well, I mean, I think it was definitely a, everyone did their part. Yeah, everyone did their part for sure. Uh, I, it's my first MVP of ever. The first game you had really good counter. <laughs> you had really good counter ganks the first game, which I kind of expected, and I was trying to avoid. Uh, <laughs> I just hate how like. Side note, Nick and I have been like spamming duo Q, and then I get freaking triple banned both times because my freaking banner <laughs> is over there, and I'm just like, Nick, you gotta let me play it, dude. But nah. <laughs> no, no, nah. legit, no. Anyways, okay, um, sorry, Barry Jr. Looking back at the season, um, what did you most enjoy about the the season with your team? Um, I enjoyed learning how to communicate better with everyone to make sure you can make every, any like you can make any scenario work as long as you know the as long as you know your limits and everyone's limits and knowing how to control those limits and direct everyone around in a in, in a way they want to be communicated to it was all learning learning all that shit like the um how how to make a team go from point a to point b like how to make them get that much better just just by things you say in the game, just by things you're doing in the game, how you're playing, how you're directing them around, the pace you're keeping in the game. That's all that little stuff I was learning throughout this whole split and trying to get better at. So, um, and also just having, I just I just loved having, our personalities mesh really well. So like the games we were winning, we we're having tons of fun. The games we were losing, we we're having fun, but not not as much, but the, game, the games we were winning, we we're, we're, we're tons of fun with all these guys. Super, super great to meet all of them. and. Um, become friends with everyone. It's sad to see Will go. Will's gonna be in uh, Zimbabwe. Oh no! no. Yeah. yeah. Thumbs but, down uh, the Mobile League of Legends. He was great, like great duo. Great. So, are, are you telling me that he knows the way? He knows. Oh the way. my gosh! You're right, muted now. No, no more. <laughs> <laughs> there are other questions in chat. I think we should do a Zimbabwe LCS. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> We're all moving, boys. We're season, bringing season four finals in Zimbabwe. We know the way. <laughs> oh, so you can make the joke? Wow. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Anyways, we have another question for Bear. Why not change off the Kled for a Malphite counter? What? Uh, why? Why did the team not change off of a Malphite? Or not change off the Kled for in exchange for a Malphite counter. I think that's what they're trying to say. I don't really know. Um, Kled does pretty well in a Malphite, if I'm not mistaken. But oh. All right. Uh, <laughs> I actually don't know. So. And I, I like of here uh, of the. I guess we could have played Swain, but like. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Top like the champ pool top. Kled made the Kled made the most sense versus countering all of any any champion that Sean played. Kled Kled did really well against besides the Fiora, and we banned the Fiora because of that. So, gotcha. All right. Well, moving over for Menbung and I guess Jirachi, if they're around, they can answer this too. Um, nope. Well, there's only four people in here. <laughs> looking yep, forward to. Uh, Next week's next week's match, you got you're taking on Gurk Seven over here. Um, should be a spicy game. Uh, do you got some early thoughts on that game, or you? Just We're fucked. <laughs> uh, 
like legit i predicted both of these quarterfinal matches correctly and not that i want my predictions to be correct but i just think that that's the way it's gonna be to where um vgm has very strong lanes and they have a really strong jungler as well um there there's like no arguable weak point everyone kind of makes up for uh each other's weaknesses in the team and they're i think they're a little bit harder to draft against or, or to pick ban against not that it's impossible they're just a little bit harder uh mainly because uh you know they have so many champions that they play well um so you know maybe if we continue like our really good run like we did today it'd be great but it's gonna be interesting and i'm not talking anymore about it because greg wants to do it with me so maybe if i do just like i did nick i'll beat him <laughs> all right well um so yeah i think that's gonna call it good for tonight's cast um my name's Celine panda i hope you all enjoyed it um we don't know when the next matches are going to be scheduled, but if you yeah, to be determined if you follow our page hey. on Twitch, you could subscribe. You could follow our Facebook page. What's up there? One, one question for Sean. Uh where where's my dinner before you uh <laughs> at least like at least wine and dine me first, you know? <laughs> oh my god. You know hey, you know what? I think I think I'll I'll send you a pizza when I get paid. All right, all right. That was pretty rough. I didn't even like. I'm still sore after that one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, when when I'm literally werewolf, gonna. All right, so you, you did it right through my Brom shield, dude. <laughs> yeah, unbreakable. I think not. Yeah, dude. Right. How about that? I was watching the replay of the Shivana getting stuck in the two walls. Oh, uh, what happened there? What are you talking about? So what? it didn't actually bug out when Shivana was. You were playing against Shivana and uh, against yeah, Bat. Yeah. It, it, the, oh, you, it yeah, just created one. enough wall distance so that the ult couldn't go through the wall because it was yeah. too long. It never uh, actually glitched, so he just got stuck in the middle of two. And for those of y'all wondering, Warwick's ultimate is unstoppable, but I was at the end of my ult range and then he blast coned right at the last second. So while I yeah, was in the I air, have impeccable I'm timing. I can actually slow down time with my mind and do that. Yeah, he did the chrono break that LCS does. Okay, that that's all that's all we got, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways. GG. Check in. Yeah, GG, man. We'll we'll have things posted later. Good good luck. Good luck against this uh, beef ninety two. <laughs> oh man. That's what's for dinner. Anyways, I'm Fleeing <laughs> Panda. With me was Gerg Seven. We're peacing out. Bye bye. Bye bye. Trash. Fuck you. <laughs>